this morning, stage three. We've had two absolutely fantastic stages here at the Tour so far. With firstly, that fantastic stage win from Alaphilippe getting the yellow jersey, of course. And then stage two, a spectacular showing from Van der Poel. Today being the first sprint stage of the Tour, let's see if uh, Mark Cavendish can have his day. And it's gonna be probably quite sketchy because I've just walked the last kilometer. Lots of turns. Interesting surfaces. How about that for a big screen, guys? Luckily, after the rider process this morning, in regards to the safety of yesterday's stage, it looks to have been a much safer, much wider rose today, all in all much safer. I've been given a very, very important responsibility, and that is with my GoPro to go just before the finish and catch all of the action on the GoPro. <laughs> Now 8pm French time, as you can see, everyone around us is packing up. We are the last one as the on-bike editing team that offloads the truck because we have that much of a job to do and we can't start until all the guys in the races come back. We've got the shortest transfer, I think, of the whole tour now. 23 minutes from here to our hotel tonight. And tomorrow, stage five, the time trial. And just two hours ago, the finished gantry was right here. And you can see all the signs on the road. Everything has gone. Here. Yeah. <laughs> this seems to be a habit of mine is uh, straightening up all the TVs and all the pictures and every hotel room I go to. They all seem to be wonky. I have a view of the castle. So tonight we move out of Brittany for the first time and we're staying in this little town called Vitre. I definitely said it wrong, but that's the town that we're in. Um, I've got a lovely little room, as you can see. But that's it for today. So yet another day here on the Tour de France. Today, stage five, stage six. Which stage is it? Stage six today. Lose count of the days here on the tour, but we just arrived here at the Chateau Football Stadium, where we'll be located for today's finish. So we're at Football Stadium. Football Stadium from Chateau. <laughs> yeah, it's a Chateau Stadium, and our trucks think it will be a very good day today. Yeah, the sun is shining. Yeah, and plus. We had something good in our hands. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't get any closer if we tried, could we? Yeah, yeah, we could. <laughs> trying, to, uh, trying to interrupt. Trying to photo bomb my video. Sorry? Trying to photo bomb. I was trying to photo bomb. Yeah, in the video. background. Today, one of the riders we have a GoPro attached to is Fred Wright, who some of you might know rides for Bahrain McLaren, a British rider, and I filmed with him a couple of times last year. I hope to catch up with him after this year's Tour de France. But yeah, I'm going to be editing his GoPro footage later on this evening. So hopefully no dramas. Six stages into this Tour de France in almost two weeks, including my isolation. Right in the middle of France. Yes. And then tonight we head east and then we'll be on the border. Another day done here, stage six, it's a wrap. We've got a similar transfer again today, another probably three hours or so to where the stage is tomorrow. But um, goodbye to Chateau Roux, another successful day for Mark Cavendish. Amazing, we'll see you tomorrow for yet another stage, the longest stage of this year's race, 250 kilometers. Catch you then. Stage seven, we're somehow already a week into this tour. 
today is the longest stage, I know I've already said that, but the longest stage for 20 years, 250 kilometers. But we are in this little town of Le Crosseau and you can see behind me is this uh, amazing athletic stadium or running track. The finish of the race is just over there. What a view! Yeah, what a view! <laughs> Good morning. Look at the view we have awoken to. We are in the mountains. If you couldn't already tell, it looks just like Switzerland here. It's amazing. But we stayed in a beautiful hotel last night called the Beauregard. And today, it's the first mountain test for the riders. My goodness, what a fight we're gonna have. Wow. So another, so yet another crazy stage here in the Tour de France. Today was the first day in the Alps. As you can see by the location that we were in this morning and the race did not disappoint. Absolutely soaking from the get go. The, the race was a washout. So good morning once again from my balcony here in the little ski town of Val Claret. Um, incredible views once again we've got snow on top of those mountains over there don't know if you can see that we arrived at stage 8 with dry roads but with a lot of rain forecast and a lot of rain did come and it proved to be an absolutely uh, smash fest out on the roads it is the day before the rest day tomorrow stage 9 the second back to back mountain stage we've got again a big day on the card with probably Podjakar extending his lead once again in the yellow jersey who can stop him? This week has been full of surprises. It's been a fantastic first week. I can only imagine what weeks two and three are gonna bring us. This is the second of only two days up here in the Alps. And then we follow the south of France along and then go to the Pyrenees later on in the tour. So after this day, we just went into this little restaurant here. Um, very quick, pretty posh restaurant with local delicacies. Had some food because tonight is a long, long transfer, three hours um, to the rest day tomorrow. So we're gonna get in the car and uh, I might have a nap. How about that for a mountain? My goodness. So final check-in from you guys after what has been a long week. We've made it to Valence, not Valencia. This is the gateway apparently to the south of France and it is absolutely boiling. It is 30 degrees today and it makes up for being a little over 10 degrees yesterday. Yesterday was so cold in fact I had to go and buy a jacket because um, I was sat in the editing truck shivering. Um, so this is a bit of a shock. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go edit this video, hopefully so I can get it out to you today. I know, know this video isn't my normal style, but unfortunately I just can't get the access that I would have liked uh, with other focuses here on the tour this year. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you on the next one. Ciao.